Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to get started in accounting or just a little simple story to let you see what accounting does for you, for your business. So let's say we have Kylie and Kylie has $100 and she can make cupcakes and so she starts a cupcake business with $100. On day one, she buys $60 worth of groceries to make the cupcakes and then she sells the cupcakes for $300. So how can accounting help her so it answers the questions, things like, how did she do? How did the business do? Uh, what is the financial position? And so on. So let's look at a little bit of a accounting real quickly. Accounting takes transactions and records them and classifies them into accounts. So the five accounts are assets, things we own. Liabilities are what we owe. Equity is what the owners have claim to. Revenues are anytime we earn or we sell something and we earn assets. And expenses are anytime we use up assets. So here, we're trying to look at the business transactions. We're trying to record and classify. And then we get to summarize. We're talking about issuing financial statements. So financial statements are the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow statement, and some kind of statement of equity or owner's equity or stockholder's equity. And so these last two are summarizing by issuing financial statements and communicating them by letting people see those financial statements. Now, these first three accounts, assets, liabilities, and equity, go on the balance sheet and the accounting equation. Assets have to always equal liabilities plus equity. We'll see this in just a second. We'll do a couple little balance sheets for this little business. And then for revenues and expenses, this tells us revenues minus expenses equals net profit if your revenues are higher and then net loss if your expenses are higher. Now you kind of understand all this already, but trying to use a, an example and a numerical example is going to be very helpful for us. So first thing we want to do is let's go back and look at the information. Here's our information. So on day zero, there's no revenues, there's no expenses but we have a little tiny business that's worth $100. So we need to set up a little balance sheet. So the balance sheet is gonna be assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. All right, so we see the assets. What asset does Kylie have on day zero? Well, assets are things of value that we own. So the only asset the little business has is cash and so the cash is $100. So the total assets are going to be $100. There's no other assets, anything else the business owns. Now, do we have any debts? There's no debts that the business owns or owes. And so we're going to put zero here for liabilities. And is there any equity? Well, we know the accounting equation says assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. If Kylie got rid of this business today, where would that $100 go to? Well, it would go back to her. It's her original investment. So we're going to call this, under equity, we'll call it paid in capital. Paid in capital, $100. And so her total then for liabilities and equity is going to be $100. So here's what we have. We have total assets, are 100 and total liabilities and equity are 100. The balance sheet has to stay in balance. What we have then, after day one, she buys $60 worth of groceries and she actually makes the cupcakes and sells the cupcakes for $300. Well, what happens on, on the end of day one? Well, we're gonna have two things going on. We're gonna have an income statement. We'll do that first, anytime we have that, and then we'll do the balance sheet. All right, so what are our sales? Our sales are $300 for the income statement on day one. What did it cost her? Well, we call that cost of goods. We call that cost of goods sold, cost of sales. And remember that cost her $60. So our sales, now we can call sales revenue or sales revenue. And so what we have is sales minus cost of goods sold or cost of sales or just simply cost of goods. So we can take the 300 minus the 60, we'll end up with our profit. And we can call this net income or net profit is $240. So how well did she do? Well, 
she could tell people, well, I sold $300. But if her costs were $400, then she actually lost money. But she can say, I sold $300. My costs were only $60, so I made $240. So I profited by $240. By, by going to the grocery and buying the groceries, making the cupcakes, selling the cupcakes, she profited by $240. So what is her balance sheet at the end of day zero? So one of the questions we had was, how did she do? Well, she made a profit of 240 and her original investment was $60. Her expenses are 60 So we have revenues minus expenses here. So what asset does she have? Now, we assume she started with cash. She took cash to the grocery store and people paid her in cash. So how much does she have? We'll have, we'll have to do a little calculation. She started with 100, she subtracted out 60 for the grocery store, and she added 300 because she made the cupcake sales. So her total cash is at $340. So her total assets are $340. So her assets went up just in one day, and her liabilities are still zero, so no numbers there. We can put a zero here under liabilities that if that helps and then we have <clears throat> under equity remember she put in paid in capital $100 and then she made $240 well the connection with the income statement and the balance sheet is this is called retained earnings the retained earnings is going to be $240 now the company earned $240 profit. Who gets to take advantage of that? Well, the owners of the business, and here the owner is only one person, Kylie. She gets to take advantage of the $240. So the total assets have grown from $100 to $340, and her equity has grown from $100 to $340. So the total liabilities and equity are $340. So is it worth her doing that for one day? Absolutely. She started with 100 and it grew to $340 of assets and her equity. Let's do um, for the first week, days one through five. All right, so what we have, in fact, I need to um, change this to day one at the end of day one. So day five, so the way the income statement works is um, we would do something for the period ending day five and then our sales let's assume she did this every day our sales are going to be 300 times and we'll, we'll make a five day week she's not going to work on uh, two days a week she'll work on five so our sales are 1500 and it costs 60 dollars of groceries every day times five so our cost of goods sold is 300 dollars so what kind of profit did she make for the five days? Well, 1,500 minus 300, we're talking about $1,200 is her profit. So she's better off $240 a day times five days. She's better off by $1,200. Now what's her balance sheet gonna look like on day five? At the end of day five, the cash would be what? Well, she starts with 100, and then she adds 1,500, because that's 300 times the um, five days. And then she subtracts out the 300. Now, I can just point to these if I wanted to, but I'm just trying to let you think through these rather than just quickly point to it. So 100 plus the revenue minus the original cost, $60 times five days. So she has $1,300 $1, of cash. So her total assets are gonna be 1,300. She still has zero liabilities. The equity, the paid in capital, she put in 100 and she hasn't lost any because she's actually made more money. So her profit is gonna be 1,200. Now what do we call that? We call that, remember, retained earnings. So for after one week, she has total retained earnings of 1200 that's the total net income her total liabilities and equity is 1300 so 
She started with 100 and at the end of the week, she had assets worth 1300 and she owns all of that because she hasn't borrowed any money. Now let's think just a minute about how profitable this is. If you could make $1,300, uh, I'm sorry, $1,200, $1,200 times 50 weeks for the year, we're talking about annual revenue, annual profit of $60,000. So this could be a nice business for anyone, for Kylie. And so she makes $60,000 would be the annual amount she's making. So you want to keep up with the income statement, the balance sheet, so accounting can help you decide, hey, is this a good thing for me? Am I making money? And how profitable am I? So her her $60 investment turns into $300 every day. Her $100 investment turned into uh, a business with total assets of $1,300. Hey, thanks for watching. we got lots of videos here on the basics of accounting. So check out our playlist, and we'll see you on the next video.